And boom, we are back with more Mass Effect 2. And let's see, what do we have to do? Subject zero. Yeah, we will do the dossiers before we do the personal missions. So... So, Samara and Tane. Let's decide which... So next up, Ilium. There's gonna be plenty of shit to do at Ilium, but... Uh, yeah. Should be no problem. Let's land to Ilium. I like Ilium. I like the missions here. Okay, who to take? Garrus and Jacob. Should probably put points somewhere. Well, I'll save. I'll save, but I'll give you points. I want you... to be more sturdy. All oh, right, I have the pulse rifle. Well, switch. I want to use. I want to use the Avenger. Yeah, let's use Avenger for now. I still haven't modified my armor. <laughs> I always forget. Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. That's a lot of firepower for a friendly welcome. Expecting trouble? We're the gateway to the Terminus systems, Commander. That element of risk requires greater security. Liara Tassoni vouched for your conduct and paid all fees you Liara would Liara Tassoni? She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. You said Liara was here? What's she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. What can you tell me about Nos Astra? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. Yeah, For right. your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. You mentioned trading. 
What gets traded on Ilium? Anything Drugs. you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus Systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. We were always told that Ilium is one of the safest places in the galaxy, until you fell off the grid. Sign the wrong contract, join up with the wrong company, or walk down the wrong alley, and it's as dangerous as anywhere else. Don't let this place fool you. It's no safer here than Omega. <laughs> 25. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Commander Shepard? You're Commander Shepard? I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. I met a lot of people on Novaria. Could you be more specific? I believe the message itself should make it clear. Shepard, we hide. We borrow. We build. It's but the Ragnar Queen. You seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours, and our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. How did you possess another Asari? You can't just take over people's minds like that. Peace, Shepard. The Rachni Queen does not control my thoughts. That was merely the message I was asked to deliver. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, and I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was bad. Now she thinks that helping the Rachni is his own choice. They found me. But they saved me. If anyone if if you know how mind control works. It does. It really isn't his cho her choice. She just she just thinks it is. You obviously got off world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the keepers on the Citadel in a way, all working together. Each the only way purpose. to know if you're being mind control mind control is to basically break the fourth wall, somehow. What happened to the pirates who attacked you? They were obliterated. But you yourself do not know if you're being mind controlled. They do what they must. You said the queen gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My what life as a courier was empty What does the Rachni need from now I'm helping other a races? Race rebuild itself. You were really comfortable walking away from your old life? You're concerned that the Queen is controlling me. I understand, but it doesn't work like that. How do you know? Our minds were in perfect harmony. I saw their beautiful spirit and their need. I knew what I had to do. 
No, you didn't. She planted that. She planted that thought in you, and now you think that you know that you know what to do. God damn it! Can you tell me where the Rachni are? I'm afraid not. I don't even have that information myself any longer. After I met the Rachni Queen, that information was removed. It's not painful, but I simply don't remember. I'll remember. Very alarming, isn't it? Caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control. I think it doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, and she promises to help. She thinks that the Reapers caused the Rachni war. I can't say for sure, but she was certain that her ancestors were forced into war against their will. Her people aren't naturally aggressive. If they made war, it was not of their own doing. If you can pass a message back, tell her that I'm watching. Don't make me regret setting her free. That's right. You won't. She seeks only peace. She better. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. All right. Now we'll bump into another woman we, or another Holy person we crap, met Shepherd? at Noveria. I thought you were dead, Shepard. The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait. Probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Noveria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. Now, obviously, if you did not help Gianna Parasini, she will not be here. She will not be here. Uh, greeting you. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. Sorry, what but I don't drink feeling? beer. Too many you know, calories. You can talk about. <laughs> Well, let's. You ever heard of the collectors? They're Tell her the truth. The colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, Shepard. For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. Hey, listen. I just remembered something. I've got to go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. There's nothing in in the class. What the fuck? All right, Shepard had to leave. Target saw me. Couldn't break cover. Azari merchant smuggling semantics from Novaria. Can you talk her into showing you this good stuff? Okay, so there's the Azari merchant that we want to talk to. Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. So basically, we can tell her that she's being watched, or uh, or I can play with Tiana. And uh, convince her to show the advanced merchandise. How do I know this stuff is any good? You're an Asari. But first, I want a discount. No good for you. <laughs> I carry nothing but the best. I offer a money-back guarantee. That doesn't help me when I'm dead due to equipment failure. Look, I'm dropping too many credits to screw around here. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount, and when I get special items in, you can take a look. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs, nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. Busted. That's because it's still in development on Novaria and illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini, you set me up. But this isn't Novaria. You don't have the authority to arrest me. I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever hmm. do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Ah, oh, that was good. 
I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. All right. But first, since we got the discount, let's buy everything from this store. We've got the money. Is there anything else that we can buy? Nope. Let's talk to Jenna. Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing a sorry. So ageless and so do I. If you know what I mean. Squeal like schoolgirls. It must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop or C-sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White-collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. How'd you end up on Novaria, anyway? Scholarship program and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. What's up next for you? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My hmm. bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That'll hold me over until I have to go back undercover anyway. It must be hard going undercover. Tali is in interested so in dark bad. energy as go well. Places, be new people. The only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people, and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful, taking notes, getting evidence. And they never see me coming. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. Oh, hell with it. Mwah. Much better than an autograph. Take care of yourself, Shepard. What? That's it? I was, I was hoping that she would show more gratitude. <laughs> Alright, let's go meet Liar at the Sony. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts. You're an ugly, ugly ass Asari. It's really an honor to work with her. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. <laughs> Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. What the hell? Lyra's taller than Shepard. <laughs> or maybe she's wearing high heels. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. You have sources now? A few. Sources, contacts, even a little hired muscle. I've been working as an information broker. Lyra must be the it's only Asari who has you. painted eyebrows. For the past two years. And now you're back, gunning for the collectors with Cerberus. If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Hmm. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. 
Hacking a terminal sounds pretty easy. Why do you need me? I don't know anyone else I can trust. Hacking the security node won't get you the data. It just creates a minor glitch in the system. You'll have a short time to find a local server left vulnerable by that glitch and upload the data to my system. I'm leaving my own system vulnerable so that the data can be imported during that short time. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. I'll talk to you later, Liara. I'll help Liara first with her problems, and then I'll ask about the... I'll ask about Samara and Tane. But first, let's help Liara. Should be relatively quick. Systems are great for business. Let's talk to this woman in here. The store's over there. All right, not yet. I have to first tar talk to some, some other guy before I can talk to that store clerk. We'll handle that too. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, we can get one Atlanta? discount from here, All though. Blue rose of Ilium. Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil. Let's talk to this Asari. What do you want? Sorry, sorry. That damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no. You don't need to hurt him or anything. All He's harmless. Which Ilium. I know, Krogan. Let so it's hard to believe. His name is Char. Soil. We're kind of Char. dating, but well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. It doesn't seem common for Asari to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy. Really smart. Especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. Why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogan's live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me, or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know, because of the genophage. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been Asari. Non-Asari don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA, we're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls, no matter <sighs> what color they were. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Hmm. <laughs> we, we should be assholes and tell him to tell her to get rid of him. But nah. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby making machine? That's right, your baby making machine. If he said that, then you either trust him, so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess exactly. I thought about you, it like that. You and already knew your, the answer. He said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. Yeah, that's how you get a store discount. <laughs> All right, let's. Yeah, there's a couple of fish. And uh, miniature spaceship models. Let's buy them and continue with the hacking. We gained, gained a quite a bit of paragon points from that. 
I kind of want to avoid uh, getting paragon points from uh, charming, but I just want to be a good guy and charm. Just use the charm dialogue choice there. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. Boom. There's a 12 page contract for shipping, then a waiver for use. I charge for 50 hours plus overtime. <laughs> All right, over here. No, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. Shepard, this is Liara. I've got the data. Come see me when you've got a moment. All right, and there's another friendly face, but this time from Pharos. Shepard, I. I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it, and saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How is Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zoo's hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive, and the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I'd prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans. But the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without hmm. our consent. That's why I'm here. Wait a minute. Shiala, you were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue, like What if she is a clone? Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. Sounds good. Too good to be it was too good to be true. <laughs> but we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable. Which they have. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No. But they can declare us in breach of contract. Which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. I can handle it. Don't worry. The Barrier worry. Frontier's representative knows about the issue. After all, I'm Commander Shepard. There's nothing I can't do. Sometimes I'm a diplomat, sometimes I'm a contract broker, and sometimes I'm a hell of a badass. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. 
The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. You seem to forget that a human saved you from Saren and the Geth. The Geth created by the idiotic Quarians? That a rogue Turian specter led in an attack? The Geth didn't start with the Citadel. They attacked your human colony, Eden Prime, first. You humans brought the Geth upon us. You and the Turians are the Quarians. My people's deaths are on your hands. Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? Phew, where do I begin? With Salarian explorers unleashing the Rachni upon us, then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? Or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away? Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge? Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld blah, blah, blah. during the initial Geth uprising. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the embassy. The other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Your bondmate was with the Quarians. Your daughters work with aliens every day at the Embassy and the Consort. And look what happened to them! You've suffered, I get that. But these colonists were trying to live peacefully. They've suffered too. They lost family to the Geth and the Thorian creature. Don't add to their anguish. That's right. Now, break off the deal. I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Great. Let's buy the star charts. This will unlock more more places to explore for us now let's report back did to Shiala star charts? yeah you did it I just got the revised contract well she worked Thank quick you, Shepard you've saved Zeus hope again I don't think I could have is it always like this yesterday's problems lingering in some new form isn't anything ever just fixed You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Yeah, she's gonna kiss Maybe me too. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. That's what I'm talking about. Wait, what? Was that it? God damn it, Shepard, you blew it. Well, yeah. So, I think this is a good time to not end, not end the. Well, kind of end the video, but I'm just gonna save the footage so I'm, I won't lose it, and I'll be right back. <laughs>